Brother Simba, <clears throat> there are some questions that if they are asked at the heaven's gate, you might go to heaven. And there are some questions, if it's the question to answer at heaven's gate, you might go to hell. Yes. If they ask that, did, did Simba have good intention in his life, you might go to heaven. But if they ask that, did Simba ever sin, I'm sure my brother, all of us will go to hell. Yes. And in fact, that's what is the issue, framing. What was the framing of the issue in Senate? The framing of the issue was a political question, it was not a legal issue. And when the framing is legal, then of course it's not a have to go to the Senate. That should go to judiciary. If they send something judicial, so all those things talk about he flouted, they can still sue the governor. There's even attorney general in the counties these days. You can sue the governor for anything legal he has done. Impeachment is always a political process. Mm -hmm. And so, so far as Kenya Kwanza was divided inside themselves, with Azimio having a significant number, Azimio was obviously going to go on the side that might make to disappoint the more superior side. And that's what happened. For example, he realized, I told you that, we discussed here that, we said it here that Mwangaza won't be impeached. Reason being, just those dynamics. So, so long as Senate remains what it is, the constitution now, it won't happen. And remember now, Mount Kenya is divided. Mm -hmm. Majority of the senators are coming from Mount Kenya. That division itself is enough to ensure that one side goes with Azimio side and the prayers are done. For example, you see the Finance Act was Raila Odinga versus, versus William Ruto. The voting was not about the substance. That's why you see NPs later, after passing the bill, goes to set house and telling people, cut fuel. Yet are the people who passed the bill to increase the cost of living. So you will see that now it was not an economic question in Parliament. It was a political question in Parliament instead of being an economic question. Finance Act should be economic question. Remember, I'm a people's economist and understand how economy affects people, anything you do. And just to give you a background, when I used to be an economist with a, with a, with a bank, uh, one, I was an economist with a housing finance bank. I was an economist with the World Bank, uh, also IMF, also European Central Bank. When it is raining, like now, you see these rains you're seeing, can you be able to predict the economic implication of this rain? Or you're just seeing rain being a nuisance. So for us, when it was raining in Mount Kenya region, you could set interest rate based on that rain. Okay. If you could rain on the Rift Valley, we know that's the breadbasket of Kenya. Because people of Rift Valley, they are producers of food. So you could say now, because we are going to have domas here, we're going to have potatoes here, the people were lending money should lend money more to the potato farmers and we should set interest rates like this and that. So whatever you are seeing, framing is important. If you frame that um, is, is, a, is, a, is Elijah, Simba Elijah, um, uh, a good, a good uh, news anchor, the, 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 the question will be different if you ask whether you are knowledgeable in terms of economy. Does it? So the thing here is that the framing of the question of Mwangaza made her survive and it is nothing to do with wrongdoing or non-wrongdoing. The issue was that it was more a political question. Then secondly, now, this for me is the, is the implication. Because sometimes when you hear the story, you should look at what's the most important story. All the MCS in Mayu voted, all of them, in unison to impeach the governor. Twice. And the Senate, we do not live in Meru, says no. So the question is, are the Senate, are the MCS still the representative of Meru people? Or the Senate has a say over the issues in Meru? Is it still devolution? If the national, this is a national house, isn't it? Rules over a devolved unit. So everyone, we should be believing that everyone in Meru should be wanting Kawira Mwangaza out. Because MCS are elected by the people of Meru. Yes, and they have done twice, and it has worked, it has not worked. So, is it a question of accept and move on? Because that's what will happen. For example, if you have done this twice and has failed, accept and move on. The only thing is that the issues have been the same. They, are, they just regurgitated. That's why I'm telling people need to be clever here. It's yes. Solomonic. Mm -hmm. They regurgitated the issues they brought before. They didn't come with any other new issue. 
Yes. Which means that this is just witch hunt. That's it. And according to me, yes. the survival of Kawira Mwangaza is a political issue, but it's also a statement. That is a, there's an ongoing battle between county assemblies and the executive in the, in the devolved unit of government. So I think that's what Senate is trying to save the governors against this battle. That's the main thing. They discover that uh, the governor, the MCS are trying to look for ward fund. They're looking for salary increment. Mm -hmm. They're looking for tenders in government. Because I can tell you some counties where MCS have no issue. What was difficult for Kawira Mangaza? Take this guy to seashells for one week and they don't impeach you. But she decides to deliver for the people and therefore the MCS are feeling disgruntled because they need money. Let me tell you what, where money is involved, issues are very different. So yes. I'm thinking that for me is a statement. In fact, it is also a statement across the whole country. The statement the center has done. You cannot just come here thinking that by uniting yourself in unison works. Look at uh, Siaya County. All the MCS to the last man wanted to impeach the deputy governor. Senate saved it. That's one statement. Now you see the one of Kaira Mwangaza, that's another statement. If you are another MCA in another county in Nyeri, will you try? You believe that you have to start by realizing, will the Senate agree? Because you'll ashamed yourself. Mm -hmm. Because look here, uh, tomorrow, <laughs> I've seen 